As soon as you open the hatch rig, you will notice that the rig is pretty slow. And that is because of the sheer amount of geometry that the rig has to move at any given, given time. So the very first attribute that you would probably turn on or to use is this body resolution. And you would probably set that to low. With the body resolution attribute turned to low, you will hide the high resolution mesh and the high resolution textures and show the low resolution uh, uh, mesh without any textures. But I still try to keep the same color scheme of the character so that you're not thrown off too much by the change. Another thing you need to know is a couple of attributes that are important to uh, hide and show extra controls. If you select the root control, you will see here that you have detail cons. So if you turn that to one, you will see that there is a lot, a lot more controls that we're showing. So things like, you know, these energy canisters here that you can now select to animate these guys. And then you have the exhaust pipes controls that you can use to move them around or with the rumble, uh, the rumble attribute that we talked about. And finally, on, on the head, there is the there are these three attributes called windshields, interior, and doors. So right now they're both they're all three turned to one, so they're all three visible, which is these are the windshield controls, and then this is the door, which allows you to open the door here, and then this is the, the door handle that you can use to animate the handle there. And then if you open the door, you will see that there are interior controls. The reason why I put two arrows here is because when the character is sitting on uh, this chair, you can still easily select this control to move the, the chair up and down from both this side and this side. One cool thing to keep in mind of uh, for this clutch here is that whenever you're translating it, you're actually rotating this clutch. So when you're even but even if you are rotating it, you will notice that the control will stay on the uh, on the handle itself. So if I zero out these attributes, you will see that these attributes will not. Uh, get zeroed out and that is because of a constraint system that is at play here. Same thing if I try to uh, translate this control in X you will see that you're actually moving it in three axes that is because there is a geometry constraint there that it's keeping this at this control always um, on the handle. So that's something to keep in mind there. So finally uh, there was a lot of work put into the back leg, the rear legs of this character. So I would like to mention a couple of attributes here that are pretty useful. So obviously you can translate uh, the control here. There is this, uh, this attribute here that is called foot shell shin space. That means that I'm talking about this. When, I, when, when you see foot shell, I'm talking about this. This is the foot shell. So, and I'm basically turning it on to the shin space, so the space of this, uh, of, of this element of the leg. So, as you can see here now, as this part of the leg kind of tilts and rotates around, this does the same thing. But sometimes that is not what you want. Sometimes you want to just turn it to zero so that now the, uh, this sh the, the foot shell will not rotate uh, anymore with the shin of the character, but instead it will completely rotate with the foot of the character. And obviously, if you want to give it a little bit of overlap, you can put it at five in order to do a little bit of both. So that's, that's something to keep in mind there. We have the usual foot roll controls, you know, the attribute. And it's kind of cool to see all the little uh, uh, pistons here moving when you turn the body resolution to high. So you see how all the hinges there are moving and it's, it's quite nice. Turn that to low. 
there are there are two attributes here that are going to be very important to have the to give the sensation that this character has a lot of weight and that is the foot press which basically let me turn on high resolution on this basically it will press the foot shell down and it will also flex the toes here and also you have also the leg press which basically does the same thing but it will uh, it will press the entire leg so that is another attribute that will be very useful to give the sensation that this character has a lot of weight the rest is pretty straightforward you can control you have these middle legs that are ik but you can turn them through these attributes through these controls right here you can control you can turn them into into fk so now that leg is fk but you still have control over these little plates then in case of penetration you can move them around and these are the toes let's call them toes for that part of the character And that is pretty much it. Um, it was a lot of fun to create the rig for this character. And I really hope that you have just as much fun uh, animating it. Thank you very much.